Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on another snowy day in Ohio? It's beautiful out here. It's gorgeous. I love the white stuff. I, I have. I would say said no one ever, but there are people that like it. Absolutely. It's I, too early. I like it as well. I just like it after Thanksgiving. Yeah. I think somebody's practicing for gun season. <laughs> Anyways, we got a ton of work to get done. We do not want to get caught off guard. Contractually, we are not obligated to take care of any snow customers until the beginning of December. Now, don't get us wrong. If something catastrophic happened, we would get ready and Absolutely. be ready. But the ground's still a bit warm, as you can see. Yes. So everything's melting, but we need to uh, make the change. So there's only one way to do that, TQ. How's that? Do it. So the question we've been asked the most since we put that video out that kind of went semi-viral, I would say, about a month ago about the 22 regular cab that we've been having issues with, we pretty much don't have a choice but to keep. And I'll say it like that, guys. We bought this truck last year at MSRP when I ordered it, which was roughly 46000 I believe it was, 45000 So the dealership offered to buy it back for the full price, pretty much, that we paid for it. With that being said, the trucks they have on the lot right now aren't anything that we're interested in. They have the smaller V8, uh, they have diesels, which I personally, as a work truck, I don't wanna buy a $90,000 diesel, $80,000 diesel. And that just doesn't make sense for our business. It might make sense for some of your business. For us, we wanna keep the trucks as minimal as possible. Hence why we don't buy all the bells and whistles. Now the uh, extended cab, we use that a little bit more for the family at some times uh, whenever TQ's car is wrapped up. So we need to have room to put the kids in, which is very rare. 
but it does happen occasionally. So that truck is a little bit nicer, but even still, I think we only paid what, 58,000 for that yeah, one? Yeah, it, it's still minimal, but it's just enough for the family, which is good. And the kids absolutely love that. And truck. I shouldn't say just 58,000, 58,000, yeah. 45,000 is a lot of freaking money. Trust me, I'm not telling you guys to go buy these things. I'm not telling you this is how you do your business. If we weren't doing snow removal, guys, I'll tell you 100%, I would not own these newer trucks. Simply the newer trucks are supposed to give us reliability, even though that one has kind of been a bit of a headache. Uh, with that being said, we don't have the lifestyle that allows us to work on things like we used to or uh, we don't have a mechanic here in house like some of you may that's why we choose to spend a little bit more on our trucks we have roughly i think about 1700 a month in truck payments 1800 maybe mm -hmm. in truck payments for the business if the business didn't pay for those i personally would not have them trust me i would much rather like remodel my bathroom that's in really bad shape yes but it makes sense for the business and for our business. So at this time, we are keeping the 22. Another reason is if we bought another truck, there was no way we were getting in until like the end of January, February. If we did happen to trade it in for a newer diesel truck that they had on the lot. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, we were talking about ordering a 23 in the same model. And they said we probably wouldn't get it for six months. So that puts us through winter. So pretty much to sum this long story up, we're gonna chance it, we're going to run the truck, the backup cameras, the electrical issues, you know, they're still there. It may bite us in the butt, it may not, but even if we did buy another new truck for us to get it in to get it set up for this, it would take us roughly about the end of January, February around there to get the truck in and get it done. Yeah, and it's mid-November and the snow's already flying, so we had to make that choice, you know, right now. Absolutely, so. winter's here and I don't think it's going away. <laughs> Easy part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have it on dollies, if you guys don't know, and that's what makes it easy for us to roll. Now the hard part is we gotta manhandle it out there enough where we can get it from the side with the skid loader to get it up into the bed of the truck. So I'm gonna put you guys in time lapse because this is probably gonna take us uh, 10 minutes, roughly. <laughs>
All right guys, so I wanna show you exactly what we're doing. So we got the rubber mat under here. That protects the bumper from any of the flinging, the electronics as best as possible. Uh, but what we have to do is this metal plate's what goes up against the back of the truck right here, okay? So we got about two inches still there that we're gonna slide it in by hand. And then uh, we'll center it up and then we'll strap it down real quick. So yeah, good job, babe. Thanks. You're getting pretty good with that skid loader. Yeah, Might have stuff? to start paying you uh, operator prices. All right, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're almost all the way back. I just want to get this closer to the edge as, as far as we can. Just uh, make sure it's still under it so it'll hold. Ugh. take a torch and keep that rubber mm -hmm. and it'll lay flat on that side. What do you think? This side needs to come out more? Or is it good? I think it's good. We'll have to put a hole here for the electronics now because before I ran it out and around. So we'll cut a hole right, right here and then we'll bring it up to here, okay? Mm -hmm. guys so the tarp is really cold if it was sunny out here right now it would have went on a lot easier but we're getting no uh no love from the the black plastic on top no no not at all anyways but we got it on yeah we still got more to do the huh i just said you did a good job we both did a good job <laughs> let's uh get up here and let's get it finished it's a blizzard out here all right we'll see you later tq <laughs>
All right, guys, so just a little bit more stuff to get done here. So this is truck light dielectric grease. Stuff works phenomenal. I've uh, been using it for years and had zero issues out of it. One of the main things I wanted to change up this year, though, is the wiring. So this wiring, last year when we got it, we just kind of ran it out and around this way. So what I want to do is I want to cut a hole where I can stick this wire through so that this is being protected as much as possible back here. So it's over here and I think that should give us a good enough opening. Let's give it a try. Hold that kind of up, honey, so I can kind of give them somewhat of a shot of what I'm doing best I can. Remind me next time we go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dang. I am so sorry. <laughs> TQ just busted me in the kneecap. <laughs> So you still got dielectric grease on them from when I put them away, but I like to freshen it up. You can let that hang. Yeah, I like that a lot more. If I need to, I can always splice it a little more. I think it'll be all right though. Now this one will go to the spinner. What I wanted to do real quick though, is see if I could heat this rubber up so it'll lay flat. I don't know if it'll work or not. Man, we have been out here a long time. The school's already out. Wind's putting my torch out. I think I'm about out of propane. Wow. Oh, come on. All right, I'm gonna have to get a new propane tank. This is the last one I had left and I barely got enough coming out. And it's too damn cold to be worried about that rubber. I'll worry about that another time. My 
behind me, if we get up by Terry's mm -hmm. to uh, grab another one of those nuts. Yeah, you there's remember? one missing over here too. Yeah. Did you, you got the controller? That rubber mat being down there better. So we put that rubber mat on to protect a lot of things, but it also gives us the option to swing this open and we can put our bucket right here for sidewalks to grab salt right out of the hopper. We can just hit the button, boom, bada bing, and we're good to go. So All right, so everything out back is hooked up. We believe everything's good. TQ's gonna plug in the remote. Boom, bada bing. And then this one slides up under here. They have a cup holder mount too you can get, a few different mounts. Uh, I recently saw on uh, the Boss Snowplow uh, Facebook page, guys were recommending putting a sheet of plywood under here. And then you could like put all your controls out in this area, which I thought was pretty unique. Here's your key. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a good start. It's a good start. All right, go ahead and turn it on. This one? <laughs> It'll come back to her. It'll come yeah. back to her. So start is hit it again. Oh, see how it lights up there? Yeah. Takes a minute to come back, guys. Here, I'll show you. Turn it on, turn it off right there. So you'll see it highlight there. Then you have your different modes. You can preset modes as well. Turn it up and down. And then, But you have to turn it on and off with the vibrator here, burst here, and then your lights here. So that's just kind of what you can do. And then you can set modes if you want to run like three and three. I heard something I back there. It. All right, here, let's go back here. Let's make sure everything's working good. All right, go ahead and hit the lights real quick. Good. Hit the brake light. Yep, we're working up top. Go ahead, turn it on. Here, going. Turn it all the way up. All right, go ahead and hit the vibration once. Good. All right, all I want to do is peek at the auger real quick. Go ahead and shut the uh, spinner off. All right, so it's going to be hard to see you down in there, guys. Auger is spinning as it should. I think we did a good job, honey. All right, guys, so I call that good and good, even though I just noticed something, TQ. Okay. Great job. We never put new tags on this truck. Are you serious? Dead serious. I made a boo-boo. Well, they'll never know because they can't see the license plate. Oh, no, plate. we got to get that license plate out of there. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Oh, man. All of the commercial stuff had to be redone in August, but somehow or another, I did not get the tag put on this truck. I don't know how I did it. All the other trucks and trailers are good. That one's not. It's so, probably on the desk somewhere. I think actually no. Because that truck was bought at a different time. They changed stuff. So I went ahead and did the trailers. And then I was like, ah, I still got till March on this one. But it wasn't. It was August on this one. March okay. on that one. Okay. So. Mistake. We got a good tag. Anyways, guys. Please smash the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. And leave us a nice comment. Down this is a it. ton of work, guys. We're freezing out here. TQ and myself do it as a husband and wife team. We don't have anybody to come in and do it for us behind the scenes. We're hoping to change that in the future, but as of right now, it does and does, right? Absolutely. As always, keep, keep plowing. And keep salting. Keep making money, boys. TQ out. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Peace. Bye.